Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2013, where we are going to make a huge impact on the industry of German agriculture, as they have never seen anyone do it before. Even though I haven't played this game before, and all I've got in front of me is a double page spread of a map, some basic guidance, and a couple of videos that I've watched of it. So, I think we should begin. I'm going to get into this tractor. Okay. I think, um, first thing we need to do is, well, couple of, oh, that, that, that was a bit, um, meaty. I think we should go and we should sell some of the crops that are in this silo, just to oyster our money levels a little bit, you know, just to make sure we're a bit secure on the old money front. So if I press I, there we go, I get my PDA screen up, and then it scrolls through. Now, on this page, I know that it tells you how the price that certain areas will pay per ton for each of these crops. Now there are four crops in those silos, six crops on the screen. If I scroll through, the best prices are the canola, and at the inn, specifically. So, let's go up to them and have a closer look at the symbols. Right, okay. Um, the one on the right looks like corn, corn. Oh, corn is there. And the one on the left looks like wheat. Yes, which is the top one. I don't know what the two in the middle are, but I would imagine that they're barley and canola. So maybe potatoes and sugar beet we don't have yet. So I think the second one from the right is canola. That is my detective instinct telling you. So we're going to drive under here and collect that. As you can see on the right, the bar is going up for the amount we have in it. Now, physics in this game are somewhat debatable sometimes, because... Oh, hang on, I don't know where I'm going. We need to find the inn. Where's the inn? The inn is G, which is by 8 and 9. So I think it's the gold symbol at the top right corner of the map, you can see at the top of the field, 7. Now, yes. As I was saying, the physics in this game, with regards to collisions and tractors and so on, are somewhat debatable because as a tractor you can pretty much go over anything, apart from perhaps a completely sheer cliff, and underwater, you can't go underwater. Um, but as you can see, I'm just going over here, casually, no real problems. It's all part of the day's work as a farmer in Germany. I all do this. See, German physics is different, obviously. I don't think this happens usually in any farms that I've seen, but maybe it does in Germany, because they've engineered a special breed of hill that allows track. That's a tree! Oh my god, that's, that's a tree. That has ended quite poorly. Right, reverse, 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 reverse. As you can see, trees are quite a big problem when you're doing this parkour type thing. If I can sort of slide out, is my hooter going to catch there? Yes, it is. Right, I do that. Do I have enough room? Can I get back up round it? Yes, I can. Yes, we're out of that hole. And I think that's going to happen quite a lot. Things getting stuck in places. That sounded a bit wrong. Right. Oh, there's our destination over there. Lovely looking 20th century inn. Maybe 19th century. On the market for 1.3 million pounds. Dollars. Euros. And very nice neighbours, because there aren't any, apart from those huts over there. 
now. Hey, I'm talking to Bruce. I think this is where we unload it, because that's obviously what you do, isn't it? You just sort of... They leave... I'm sure that leaving a pit of... pit of crops that stuff can go over, it's got to be some sort of health and safety violation. Especially in Germany. But anyway, down we go. It's going to get a bit boring if I just go back and forth with all of this. Just with stuff. So, I'm not. What we are going to do is we are going, we are going, nous allons, we are going to try and start cultivating a field. Cultivating, I don't know if that's the right word I want, but I'm going to use it anyway. Because that is how modern and contemporary my speech patterns are. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get up this clip. Let's see. will be a no. Oh god, what's going on? Crikey. Jackknifing. Oh, that's a bush. Can I go along this ridge for a bit? I don't think I've got much hope of getting over there. So maybe just sort of go here, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, we're on a road. Good. That's a bit of a delayed reaction. Oh, this must be the main town. Oh, driving on the right-hand side of the road here in Europe. Um, yeah, so, lovely properties made of wood. Don't know if they want to have a tractor driving by them. They might not. Oh, that's a flower bed. Now you would think going up sheer cliff faces you could deal with the flower bed, but I've heard rumours that these tractors can't do that. You know, it's surprising, isn't it? Now our our farm, our farming facility should be based just at the end here of this road. Go onto the curb, no big deal. Straight across this road here. Voila. Massive empty shed. And we're back. So, let's just leave that there. Unattach that. And return to where we started. Actually, that's not where we started, is it? It was the only other side. Was it? Yeah, Master thinks there's a weight there. Huh? But the trailer was what was... Why is there a weight in the... That's strange. Okay, let's go and try and do a field. So we'll grab a different track this time. Let's try it now. Grab a different tractor. Oh, I, I want to know what's in here. Straw and hay bales. Place them in there and receive some money. Well, we do like money. So that could be a big... Oh! That looks like a field. Okay. I'll just park this here. Or maybe I need my... Tray, my trailer here. Put the stuff here. Let's load. Oh, okay. We appear to be in a combine harvester now. Attach. And we're on. Lower cutter. Lower cutter. Turn on harvester. We begin harvesting. Harvesting is what we do, and we are going to do it well. This is thrilling stuff right here. Let's 
this is how, this is how we roll. We cut wheat. Is it wheat? I think it's wheat. Probably wheat. Oh, I'm going more and more skewed with. This is such a mess, I'm just going to hire a worker. Right now. Oh god, where am I? That will be me. And there's my worker. Hopping to it over there. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I need, should, should um, get my trailer, actually. I'll go back onto it. Now it says in the manual that I should leave tractors scattered around as sort of hopping stations because you can just tap into vehicles. So, oh, hang on. Everyone, we have a mission. Mission, will you accept it? During a food transport. During a food transport? Oh, yeah. During a food transport, a refrigerator box was left behind. Fetch it and bring it to its destination. Time limit 347. Reward 63. Required equipment front loader with pallet for. I accept. We need a front loader and a pallet for. Oh my god, what are you doing? Um, right. Let's go in you. We like you. We've used you before. We know that you go. So, I need to go there, but I first need to go to the vehicle shop. Buy vehicle, a front loader. I think I need, and a pallet for. Now I think I might need some more money than I've got, but that's not a problem because I can get a loan, and that is not a bad thing to do at all. Because with our competitive interest rates of one thousand five hundred and forty-seven dollars percent I mean sorry we parked in the right place oh dear that's poor we will allow you to get some money first right there we go and out we go now money wise I don't know how much this is going to cost front loader with pallet for Oh, tractors. Front loaders. Ah, oh, the Vitamin 4270. The classic. Or the, oh, that's a tractor. No, I think we'll go with that. We can't buy it because we don't have enough, enough cash. We'll just go and get some. It's fine. No biggie. I'll just go to the ATM and get a loan now. Because that's what happens in real life. Borrow. Money. That should do it. I think. Maybe. Hope so. Can I run? No, I can't run. It's not Minecraft. Although you can jump. A bit. Somehow. Okay. So I can buy one of these. Yes. Front loader and a pallet fork. Oh no, that'll be with the front loaders, won't it? Vitamin pallet fork. Excellent. Let's go and find them. There it is. Excellent. Is that a one stop? Enter. And there's our pallet fork next to it. Oh my god, well how was that doing? There we go. Mouse button for additional controls. Oh good lord. Oh okay. I get it, you've sort of got to manoeuvre a bit. Okay, 
let's go to the green circle of destiny. Up in the top left hand corner. Can't remember why, but I'm not gonna go oh dear. This seems a bit more flimsy than the tractor. And a lot slower. As it happens. Okay, so change tool, what does that do? I don't know. Doesn't really oh I'm going in the wrong direction. Completely wrong direction now, that's the right direction. A sort of. That's the right direction. Okay, well, I am going over a hill. Let's raise that. To make sure it doesn't catch on something, because that would be a disaster. Pallet fork machine front loader to the rescue. Da 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 da. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. They're trees. Crikey, that's a tree! Oh dear. Oh, actually that went okay. It's fine. Don't worry. So what's our quest? Our quest is to fetch it, fetch it, fetch it, fetch it, and bring it. Oh, excuse me, to its destination. We shall fetch it and bring it to its destination. Aha, you don't have a pallet fork, do you, Carl? No, you don't. But I do. Because I am a farmer. Oh, yeah. Now let's sing on Green Circle of Truth. A Green Circle of Truth looks like it's about here, probably behind one of these. Is this a curb? Oh good lord, that was quite an effect. There it is. Right. We need to get this right. Let's go. Come. Easy. Put that down. bit lower. That should be fine. Okay. I think that should do it. Oh dear, slowly does it. Slowly does it. Maybe I need to line it up a bit better. Don't push it. Oh, I pushed it. That went decidedly badly. Is that lining up properly? We're through. Which is good. Pop it up like that. It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? We've got to go over there in three minutes and a half. Right. This is a curb. It's now on one. Pallet. Hook. That's another curb. Oh dear. I don't think this is going to go well. Right. We've got to do this. Without going on curbs, obviously, because that's bad. That's very, very bad. Two minutes fifty to go, and we haven't really moved from our start of destination. It looks very flimsily held on. I don't think we're going to make it. I've got to break it to you guys. There, it, there goes the pallet, and all our hopes of victory. Uh, should I bother trying? Do 
say that. It's not going to happen, guys. I don't think. So that's what you do in the rivers. You abandon ships. I'll just leave this here. Oh, it's full, I think. So we need to get the trailer. Come on, little one. You could do it. Oh, our mission time is still going, even though we've abandoned that many moons ago. Oh, it's sad. It's very, very sad. Right. And reverse. High pressure situations, guys, in the world of farming. That's where the problem came from. Attach it there. Let's go over to the hay baler. To the hay baler. Let's go. Not the hay baler, the combine harvester. I'm very sorry. It's good to see that our PDA is on full volume. It's got full bars. And uh, full battery. It's all good. Our mission time is in bread, so we should probably if we're planning to do it at all. Do it, but it's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, there it goes. Empty it out. Easy does it. Come on, how much more have you got? Oh dear, I didn't deliver them in time. Right, I'll go. I'll go and put this in the silo discarder thingamabob. I'll just drive through our field of wheat, looking poetic as I go through. For what forsooth thou find my aunt in debt? What's that phone? Is that a phone? What can I do? Can I phone someone? Call helpline. The helpline. Oh, it's just tips. Can't really be bothered with tips. We'll find out as we go. Where is, where am I? Where am I? Who am I? What am I? I don't know anymore. I just don't know. This needs to go to a silo, that's what I mean. That can only be done by putting it into the thing. Very scientifically named. Name it thing. I've approached from the wrong angle. It's all gonna go pear shaped. But oh well. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Oh, we've got a little help bubble as well. Lovely. Oh crap. Temporary storage. Oh, it's just telling me how to use it. Unload at a slightly jaunty angle. Right. I think I'm going to end this episode there. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you next time. And if you like this, press the like button and subscribe.